going to be over your debt utilization. You know, your debt utilization, I think at 500, should be like 150, something in there. So if you go and charge the 100 bucks or whatever, then you're going to make your monthly payment on it. It'll probably be around 20 bucks and you make that monthly payment until it's char until it is done. You know, you continue to use that particular card, but that's one way that you can establish credit. And I can't emphasize enough that you need to get a credit card. So if you have to go that route with a secure card, then absolutely go ahead and go that route and get your secure card. I'm going to tell you this, people with the highest scores, with the highest scores, they have an average between four and six credit cards. Now, that doesn't mean I want you to go out here today and get four to six credit cards if you don't have any credit cards. You've got to do it strategically. If you go get that much credit at one point in time, then your score is going to drop. Even if you're approved, your score is going to drop because you're going to be seen as, as a risk. This is a person with a low credit score or hardly no credit at all. And the credit um, bureaus are going to think they have no idea what they're doing and we don't have any idea what they're going to do with them. So they're going to lower your credit score if you go and do that. So you've got to build these things over time. A lot of you guys get anxious. You get that one now. It's December. And then here you go February and you go ahead and get that next one in February. That's not necessarily the best way to do it. Maybe in six months you go and get you another credit card because you can't do these things overnight to try to build your credit. It just doesn't doesn't happen that way. And it also doesn't mean if you get a credit card and when you get a credit card that you have to hold a balance on them. So all of you that are worried about, I don't want to get, you know, three cards. I have to pay 20 bucks a month. That's 60 more dollars that I absolutely don't really have or i can use to pay something else off you do not have to hold a balance on these cards so get the card especially if you're new use it once or twice and go ahead and make a couple minimum payments and then pay the card off put it in your back pocket leave it at home put it in your little safe at home whatever it is if you gotta if you're a spender and you got to stick it in a block of ice, knock yourself out, stick it in a block of ice because you're not going to go in there and get that credit card. By the time you go to your block of ice and you chip it all out, then whatever you were going to buy, it wasn't worth doing all that. So make sure that you do that thing. So that's the last thing that I have for you today when it comes to you know increasing your credit score. So I'm not going to say necessarily come back next week. But come back the next time that the 800 Credit Score Man show is on the air. And you know, you know, if you follow me on social media, I'm going to absolutely let you know. Now, just because it's at the end of the year doesn't mean that I'm going to abandon you guys between now and then. I got a lot of time next week. So if you got questions, now is the time to go ahead and send me your questions because I have a lot of time next week where I'll be able to answer those questions to you. So send me your emails at 800creditscoreman at gmail.com. Also text me or call me at 312-600-5855. You can do that as well. And catch me on, um, you know, you got to catch me on Facebook as 800 Credit Score Man. Get to the credit score comeback. With all this time on my hands, there's no telling how much information I'm going to put on Credit Score Comeback. That's the Facebook group, so make sure you do that. Here's what I want you to look forward to in 2018. We're going to do the Couples Credit Challenge in 2018, so you got to look forward to that. Get your man, get your woman on board, let them listen to the 800 Credit Score Man Show, and we're going to do the... Uh, the, the couples uh, challenge. So I want you guys to get involved in that. It's only going to help you increase your credit scores. You know that the whole point and purpose of this particular show is to help you increase your credit scores so you can pay less interest and keep more money in your pocket. Now, they just passed the tax bill and they say you're going to get more money in your pocket. We're going to even save you even more money. So make sure you come back and listen to the 800 Credit Score Man show. If I don't talk to you before the end of the year, I want to say Happy New Year's to you as well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Again, thank you guys for listening to the 800 Credit Score Man show. You know how much I appreciate it. And before I get out of here, you know how I got to do it. Kobe, Cameron, and Carter, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out.